You picked this fight. We will not tire. We're here to fight you every step of the way. Fighting words outside the state capitol today. Lawmakers, parents, and the governor held dueling events over public education. Some parents believe the governor is not doing enough to include them in their child's education. The governor, he disagrees. Our Jeannie Nguyen joins us with more on what was said and the major investment that the governor has promised to make. Jeannie. Alex, Governor Gavin Newsom visited Elk Grove today and he emphasized children's education and also how important it is that parents are involved the entire step of the way. But there are some parents in the state that say the governor does not care about parents' rights or the students. Have a good day. On this Monday at Miwok Village Elementary. Is this part of the meditation? <laughs> mental health was a main focus as students got some unlikely visitors. What are you working on? Governor Gavin Newsom and first partner Jennifer Siebel Newsom visited students as part of the state's public education transformation investment. Their visit comes as part of their effort to ensure all kids in the state have access to quality education, safety, healthy meals, and mental health care. Through universal school meals, ensuring that no child goes hungry with two free meals a day. And through farm to school, we're making sure that those meals are fresh, nutritious, delicious, locally sourced. This is through the state's $4.1 billion community school investment that focuses on making sure parents and students are fully involved in having the best education possible. No school system in America requires more parental engagement and local control than the state of California. That is a point of pride and it's a point of privilege for me to uh, make that point. But even with their push, dozens of parents gathered at the Capitol to express their disappointment with the state's education system. One of them, Sonia Shaw, a Chino Valley School Board member. You're trying to shut parents up. It's not going to work. Just weeks ago, the Chino Valley School District approved a new policy that would require parents to notify staff if their child requests to identify with a different gender than is on their birth certificate. When it comes to transgender students and the LGBTQ community, these parents say they want to control on how these topics are brought up to their children. It's not that we hate anybody. It's just we don't want people's, certain people's ideologies or anybody's, just like you wouldn't want me to teach your kid Christianity, Catholics, and be a Jew, be most any of that. You want to raise your kid, and that's all we're asking for. ABC 10 brought these concerns to Governor Newsom, but he continued to emphasize that parents do have the control. Or it's just so profoundly ignorant that they've been ginned up by outside agitators, which I think perhaps is a combination of this. And I'm deeply empathetic. Assembly Bill 5 is one of those bills that these parents have a problem with. It's the Safe and Supportive Schools Act, which would allow LGBTQ cultural competency training for teachers and that bill is currently in the Senate. And Jeannie, I want to ask you because you know the governor is not just talking about investing in students, he's also talking about investing in families. Can you explain that? Yeah, today he also mentioned promoting generational wealth and a career savings account will be opened for every low income public school student with a $500 to $1,500 seed deposit with the hopes of developing financial literacy. The California Department of Education has a program called CalKids. Yeah, and we have that link on our website at abc10.com slash to the point. Jeannie, thank you so much.